Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and I'm here in beautiful Atlantic City on a beautiful morning. Uh, right behind me we have the, what I used to always call Convention Hall. It's officially known as the Jim Wheeling Boardwalk Hall. Uh, it was built in 1929, huge building. We're going to take a look around today. We'll take a look at the outside first and head inside and see what's going on in there. Also home of the world's largest pipe organ, so that's interesting. Let's check it out, shall we? This place is both beautiful inside and outside. Before we head inside and check out that beautiful pipe organ, it's the largest in the world, uh, we'll give it a good listen to. There's also a museum inside. Uh, let's take a walk around the outside, the perimeter of this beautiful building that was built in 1929. This is the back of the building, and that area to the left, if you were on the other side of that wall, inside, that would be the entire maintenance area for that pipe organ. The other side of this tall area here is actually the back of the stage. The building features a 141,000 square foot main arena with a capacity of uh, a little under 15,000 seats, as well as a 23,100 square foot Adrian Phillips Theater, a smaller theater within the building, with a capacity of 3,200 seats. Constructed in 1929 as the country's first convention center, for 93 years, Boardwalk Hall has dazzled guests and residents of Atlantic City with legendary stage icons such as Elton John, Paul McCartney, the Rolling Stones, and the Beatles. Boardwalk Hall takes pride in a number of firsts. In 1930, it hosted the nation's first indoor college football game. In 1940, the hall became the home of the famous Miss America pageant. From July 1942 until November 1945, the Army Air Forces used Convention Hall as a headquarters and training facility during World War II. In 1964, the venue housed more than 20,000 visitors to the 1964 Democratic National Convention, the setting of Lyndon Johnson's nomination. The country's first indoor helicopter flight was made here in 1970, and Boardwalk Hall is listed in the United States Register of Historic Places as a National Historic Landmark in 1987. In 1998, the facility began an extensive three-year, $90 million renovation and restoration project. The innovative renovation itself received nine architectural and engineering awards, including the 2003 National Preservation Award and Design and Construction Magazine's 2002 Renovation Project of the Year. Out front here is the Atlantic City Visitors and Information Area. You can go inside, check out some brochures, maps, merchandise, and you can even buy a lottery ticket inside. But hey, who needs brochures and maps when you can get all your Atlantic City tips right here on the New York Channel? The sign says it's the world's largest pipe organ, and that it is, but it doesn't tell you that it's actually the largest musical instrument in the world. We've headed inside now, and we'll give that pipe organ a good listen to in just a moment. Around the perimeter of the actual arena are some restaurants and shops. Of course, they're all closed right now. There's no event going on, but it's stunning out here, but it's simply beautiful inside the arena, which you'll see.
I've actually lowered the background music so you can hear some of that pipe organ music here. It uh, fills up the entire building, not as much as it does inside that arena though. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. I guess we can all consider this Clarice's home. Let's step inside that arena. I'm gonna let you guys listen to the organ music uninterrupted, but before I do that, I just wanna let you guys know that it's more powerful than a dozen orchestras and can both whisper and thunder into the 5.5 million cubic feet of airspace in this main arena. While their pipes are throughout the building and you can't really see them from here, the actual keyboard is that little area to the right of the stage from this view. It's that little lit up area, it looks like a little golden dot. There's actually two people there running the keyboard right now. And one more note, if I may, I just hit uh, 10,000 subscribers and we're over that already. And uh, if you put them all in this arena, it would fill up a majority of the arena. Thanks, guys. For your information, getting inside the building is free. You can do it anytime while it's open. And uh, there is a guided tour. It's only once a week. I believe it is seasonal. It's $10. You get a more thorough tour of the inside of the building as well as that pipe organ. We're going to head on back downstairs now. Hold on tight. They have some exhibits down here. Some actual Miss America stuff, and yes, that is a crown, but no, it's not Clarice. His and her swimsuits from the 1920s. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video, and if you are, give it a thumbs up, and while you're at it, if you're not subscribed to the New York channel already, subscribe right now, it really does help the channel out. And while you're at it, if you'd like to support the New York channel, just click on that thanks button right underneath the video. I appreciate your support, guys. Don't forget, click on that thanks button, get a shout out on an upcoming video. You may hear the term 48 blocks when people are discussing Atlantic City, that's because it's 48 blocks long. By the way, a shout out to Richard Hales, who once again continues to support the New York channel by giving me a super thanks on my latest Las Vegas video, The Binions and Four Queens Hotels and Casinos in Las Vegas. Thank you, Richard, for your continued support of the New York channel. A couple of things about the board game of Monopoly, which of course is designed around Atlantic City. One thing was when I was a kid, I always insisted on being the car. Did you guys have a favorite game board piece? Which one was yours? The second thing was, there were two ways to play this game, at least in my neighborhood. One was the regular long way where you actually had to buy all the properties you owned. A quicker way was to just deal out the properties when you uh, start the game and then you can wheel and deal as you go along. It did significantly cut down the game time, the game playing time. Did you guys ever do that? Leave a comment below.
There are actually two pipe organs in this building, the huge one in the arena that we saw earlier, and then there's this one which played in a smaller area that uh, I don't believe is hooked up to anything at this point. And even though it's smaller, it still looks pretty intimidating. I really like this wall, it's a timeline of Atlantic City. Some fashion from the Roaring Twenties. Mr. Peanut is actually Atlantic City's ambassador. Mr. Peanut is the mascot of the Planner's Peanut Store, which greeted visitors on the boardwalk and quickly became an Atlantic City icon. Planner's Peanut was founded by Emilio Obisi in 1896. There is a peanut world on the boardwalk. It's been there for a very long time, but I don't think it's associated with the original Planter's Peanut store. I could be wrong. Leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed our little tour of the Jim Whelan Boardwalk Hall. Uh, if you're in town, it's a great place to stop in, especially if you lost all your money in the hotels and casinos. Stop in here. It's free. It's a great place to spend some time in the summer. It's a great place to get out of the heat. In the winter, it's a great place to warm up. They have the uh, the huge arena with that big old pipe organ, and uh, that, that in and of itself is a good reason to stop in. But they also have the exhibits and other things to check out. So there's another tip from Jeff from New York. I hope you enjoyed the video. Did you do it? Did you subscribe? Did you hit that thumbs up? What are you waiting for? It's no big whoop. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.